Hello fellow mutants, welcome back to another video, and in this video we're going to do, or well, I'm going to react to this Kingdom Hearts trailer, once I can, can unlock my phone, unlock, uh, react to this Kingdom Hearts trailer that I was notified through a friend, uh, so, it's called Kingdom Hearts 2020 trailer. Okay, so and this friend said that they they advertised this rhythm based game in the trailer. I'm really hoping that my friend was just messing with me. But uh here we go. Oh, so it's showing like all the like posters for all the Game Hearts games, at least the covers of them. How many Kingdom Hearts games been there? Like nine over the past like what twenty ish years? Cause keep in mind, Kingdom Hearts one came out in like two thousand and two, two at uh, two thousand two or two thousand five. So it's been close to twenty years at the very least. Kingdom Hearts Union X Cross. I actually play that game. Five leaders face a challenge. Oh, so they're actually gonna have a legit story mode now. Oh, another person vanished. Who is responsible? The Kyrie Masters Darkness. The final chapter begins to become part of their story. I was addicted to that game, so I had to uninstall it from my phone. But it was a really fun game, though. But when I mean addicted, it, I literally mean addicted. I it 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 game got to the point where it I was playing that more than doing the stuff I needed to do in my personal life, so I had to unfortunately delete that game so I won't get completely consumed by that. But that Kingdom Hearts Union X is a pretty fun game. It's one of the, my favorite games I've ever played. So if you're thinking about downloading downloading it, you guys should because Kingdom Hearts Union X is a fun game. It's a it's a Kingdom Hearts mobile game. Anyways, I'm gonna sh shut up and continue the trailer. Why did he become the seeker of darkness? Is that saying over? Yeah, that's Hanor and Ericus. So we're doing a little bit of a prequel type based thing, okay. In the Union X game. Oh yeah, it says in here. Crap. It does say defeat those who stand in the way and engulf for the offense of Sayonard's past. So we're getting some prequel action. I also linked the uh the trailer to this in a pinned comment down below so you guys can watch it. Oh, it's coming out on June 22nd. Is that today? Wait, hold on. I'm going to... I got to see. Hold on. No, June 22nd is tomorrow. Okay. So that Saiyan Arts Pass thing is... Comes out tomorrow. Got you. Kingdom Hearts 3 soundtrack. 
I gotta admit, despite whatever issues I have with the game, the music there was pretty solid. I listen to the credits a lot on YouTube. Oh, it's coming out Fall 2020 worldwide. Nice. But yeah, the music in Game Wars 3 was solid. The first Kim Horse, I was hoping my friend would be. Why? Just why? I'm a big Kingdom Hearts fan, but why a rhythm game? <sighs> Don't tell me this is part of the canon story. They're having Kingdom Hearts 1 Sora fighting Semnus. Kingdom Hearts 1 Sora fighting Semnus, I know this is most likely not in the canon story. This is just one of those fun to play games or whatever. But it's Kingdom Hearts Memory of Mem Melody of Memory. What? Melody and Memories hold the secret of his final plan. Say notes? Yeah. Kyrie. Okay, so this whole Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory thing that it's not the rhythm based game, but it apparently it involves Kyrie and she's gonna be the main lead to this game. And it appears that she's kind of the whole premise of the game from this trailer, the Melody of Memory, say Kyrie is going to still be looking for Sora. You guys will understand if you either played Kingdom Hearts 3 or seen cuts, like cutscenes or of Kingdom Hearts 3 or seen people play Kingdom Hearts 3. Because something happened where Sora made another sacrifice, I believe, to save Kyrie, Like the second time in the entire series. And now the team is looking for Sora. They kind of explain that in the reminded DLC uh, thing that they're looking for Sora now but this Melody of Memory is coming out on the PlayStation 4, Xbox One and Nintendo Switch see I remember the days when Kingdom Hearts was only on the PlayStation uh, on the PlayStation like I played Kid Wars 2. I mean, Kid Wars 1 when it first came out. It was my brother's game at the time. This was back when we had a PlayStation 2. And Kid Wars 2 as well. I don't really remember if Chain of Memories was out by the time Kid Wars 2 came out. Actually, I want to see this. Uh, okay, so Kingdom Hearts Chain Memories. Because it's originally a Game Boy game that later got onto the PlayStation. Okay, so it was Kingdom Hearts 1, then Chain of Memories, then Kingdom Hearts 2. Okay. So 
so I know I I played the one that I got on the PlayStation on the PlayStation. Read Chain of Memories release. But it's just giving me uh the original Chain of Memories when I'm looking it up. I'm trying to look for uh You know what, I probably, Chain of Memories on place PS2 uh, release date. It's still giving me the Game Boys, I'm... So I don't know, it, I don't know when the, the PlayStation for some Chain of Memories came out on the PlayStation 2, I mean. But, long story short, that trailer wasn't really bad. It just announced we're gonna get some new stuff to the whole mobile game. The Kingdom Hearts 3 soundtrack is coming out soon. We're getting a Kingdom Hearts Rhythm based game, like... Why? And is it even canon? I mean... Like, in terms of the story, because I'm kind of confused, because I don't know whether or not this is canon, or just uh, one of those games that is part of the Kingdom Hearts universe, but it's not really canon to the overall story, because they, I think it was in uh, Dream Drop Distance, it's where they introduce the whole time traveling bit for the whole Kingdom Hearts universe. But Kingdom Hearts played a... Uh... So I don't know if it's one of those type of deals for the rhythm based game. I'm just asking myself why they're making a rhythm based game to Kingdom Hearts. It seriously does not make any sense to me whatsoever. Uh... But they, uh, Kingdom Hearts game with Kyrie in it, that, uh, uh, what is Scorkin? Melody of Memory. That Melody of Memory game, when we saw the whole Kyrie with her keyblade try and find Sora and st stuff. That interested in me. That interested me. Out of all of the uh, games that this trailer showed, I'm the most excited for the whole game with Kyrie in it. It still feels weird not having Hayden Patetti, I think that's her name, who originally played Kyrie to be Kyrie. And because. Aiden Potato played Kyrie in Kingdom Hearts 1, 2. Don't exactly remember her being in Chain of Memories. And she was also in. She also voiced Kyrie in Birth by Sleep. But the games outside of those games that I said that Hayden Potato was Kyrie. It was a different actress who played Kyrie. I think it was this, the same actress who played Xion is Kyrie currently. And I am still kind of getting used to that because Hayden Patetti has a distinctive voice. And I like her voice with Kyrie. Man, I'm not saying that the new voice for Kyrie is bad, it's just I'm having a hard time adjusting to it. But long story short, the game that got me most excited was the one that had Kyrie in it. Like that made it appear that we are going to be able to play as Kyrie. Now this is the first Kingdom Hearts game that I can remember. 
if my theory is true that we are going to be able to play as Kyrie in this new game, that this is going to be the first time we ever get to play as Kyrie. Because we get to play as Sora, we gotta play as Sora, we gotta play as Roxas, which is Sora's nobody. We gotta play as Shion, which is Sora's and Kyrie's nobody. We gotta play as Riku. We gotta play, if you died at Beast Castle, and I forget what other world in Kingdom Hearts 2. I think it, it was in Milan's world as well. Then you get to play as Mickey, but that uh, if you play as Mickey, it's only for like a whole minute and a half, depending. And then, uh, of course, uh, the characters in uh, Birth by Sleep, you get to play as those three characters, Aqua, Fentis, and Terra. But we never played as Kyrie. So this is the first time we get to play as Kyrie, so I'm excited. So again, I'm going to once this once I know this video is uploaded, I'm going to pin I'm going to put a link to the trailer, the Kingdom Hearts 2020 trailer. Down I'm going to link that trailer in the pinned comments down below. So you guys have a chance to actually see it. But yeah, so again, it's a brief recap. The mobile game thing. I might actually download the mobile game thing just so I can see Saiyan Arts past. Maybe I'll do that on my uh, laptop if I can get away with it. Download the game on my laptop. Uh, the mobile game looks pretty good. I might re-download the app just to play the Xehanar thing. The uh, soundtrack to Kingdom Hearts 3. I always want to own a Kingdom Hearts soundtrack. Kingdom Hearts 3 soundtrack might be the first soundtrack I uh, get. And what else? The Melody game. I'm still wondering to myself why they're making it and that game with Kyrie in it that making it seem like Kyrie could potentially be the main character you control in the game I'm most excited for all, all the Kingdom Hearts stuff that we've seen in that trailer so what's the thing that you guys got most excited for in that Kingdom Hearts trailer and what do you guys think about the trailer? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you all for joining. Love y'all. Have a wonderful day. And as the characters in Kingdom Hearts would say, and I'm purposely bringing my keyblade in here. This is Mickey's keyblade, at least one of his keyblades. Let your heart be your guiding key. And yes, I made that reference. So. Don't judge me. <laughs> but in all seriousness, love you all. Have a wonderful day. Catch you guys later. And be kind to one another.